And when I was in high school, I studied building technology. I studied like thinking deeply about how the design of the building will start. And I developed this uh, love for architecture. People will say that, oh, it's a long course, but believe me, time flies so much. I can't believe I'm in my last year already. I really want to approach architecture in a way that the world will change in many aspects. For instance, uh, during this COVID-19, I understood that the best place to design and give to people is their home. You really have to design the, their home or their working space in order for them to really feel comfortable or happy if they have to be long for one year, two years. So put all your heart into it. It's not just about like designing some boxes and a door and a window. I think it's really more than that. I cannot do my architecture without using the digital prefabrication. There are some designs that you, when you design them, it's almost impossible for you to make some model by hand. So you definitely have to uh, 3D print it, to use the laser cutting to do so. And again, the fact that we have support from our teachers, Baba for instance, that is supporting us to 3D print it uh, and always available for that is a really, really great thing. I wouldn't be able to express my idea for my last year project without 3D printed, for this year project without 3D printed. Even for my year three, I had to use the laser cut to cut my pieces of timber because there were lots of them and uh, they need a particular shape. I have to design a water pavilion in which I have to solve the problem of the structure and as well which we drag the water in. So the best way for me of doing it this was like by either at the same time solving the problem of the structure and enable the move of the water. As you can see, everything is just curvy there, which facilitates the movement of water towards ground. So I think the best way to approach it is to have it as a tree, which will remind you life and the architecture is part of life. I think that architecture will be able to break boundaries without digital fabrication to enable, first of all, the designers to um, design their ideas and to have some confidence themselves to believe in it. And again, when it comes to the building site, to be able to even print it.